Chief John Odige Oyegun, accompanied by guests from far and near, as well as the man of colors and style, the Samar of Benin, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawaru Igbinedion, to thank God for the gift of life, as well as to celebrate his elevation and election as the APC National Chairman. In a homely, the St. Paul Parish Priest, Reverend Father Paul Eno, urged Chief John Oyegun to follow the footsteps of King Solomon in the Bible, who is well known for his wisdom. Chief Oyegun has to continue the chairmanship of the All People's Congress, trying to have the mind of Solomon, so that he can be equally blessed. Governor Adam Sushomole and others described Chief Oyegun as a man of honor and integrity. No doctor can give it to you, only God grants it to those he favors. And uh, we thank God that he has granted him this, this rare privilege of being 75, looking strong, agile, and contributing at the highest level to national efforts. A manager of men and resources, a consumer politician, an astute administrator, there's no doubt that it's accomplished. So let me also seize the opportunity to advise everybody that is even of that age to try as much as possible to continually hold on to God. The celebration later shifted to Homeville Hotel in a reception that was chaired by Imo State Governor Owele Rochas Okorocha. It was an opportunity for Rahuf Aregbeshula of Oshun State, a national leader of the party, Audu Ogbe, to shower encomiums on the celebrant. John of the scripture and the Bible when there was a job of the Baptist John the Baptist in the person of John O'Hare preaching the same chapter to Nigeria in the land of the Baptist when he distributed himself as the power of the Baptist the celebrant, Chief John Oyegun, while expressing appreciation to all those who have come to identify with him, said he's happy to chair a party that has provided an alternative for Nigerians. We have a great party. We have a great people in this nation. And every vibe has got up to today is that the people of this dream want to Cutting of a birthday cake, cultural dance, and more goodwill messages characterized the remaining part of the ceremony. Christy McCauley reporting.